Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dirty Balls Podcast. I'm your host, Ethan Benfield, and I'm here with my non-socially distant co-hosts for today. I'm Alan. I'm Jeremy, Conrad's Cowboys. I'm Jennifer. And I don't know if I'm still in the shot, but hey, uh, I got a question for y'all. Any interesting quarantine stories? Nope, no? life as usual here. Nope. Well, I almost got involved in some gang activity yesterday. <laughs> Is it gang activity? Gang activity, yes. I almost got involved in it. Like a gang bang? Uh, no, <laughs> just, just any kind of gang activity. Let me With tell a you. bunch of guys? No, no, no. Halfway through the story, you guys are going to already get it, but please, just let me finish. Just play along? Okay. Yes. Yeah, so yesterday, I wanted to go get some beer, um, so I went to the gas station. So I go to the gas station, and I was like, ah, you know what? There's a bunch of strangers at this gas station. Stranger danger. I hope, I, I hope not. I don't know where they've been. I should probably cover my face up because, you know, there's a little bit of a thing going around right now. And if you don't know that, you know, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, so anyway, I'm standing in line with my beer. Um, and then this guy walks in and he looks me he looks me up and he looks me down. And I'm like, oh, what's the deal here? <laughs> then I noticed I am wearing, yep. <laughs> I'm wearing a red shirt, red shoes, a red hat, and a red bandana. <laughs> this guy... He looks at me and he's like, hey, bro, you a blood? And, <laughs> and I... He, he has eyes. He can see your arms and your body. I mean... And I and I said, uh, <laughs> so I was like, you know what? We're going to go with this. So I said, I guess I am today. Uh, and, he, and then he goes, he says, the next thing, and I thought we were joking up to this point. The next wow. thing he said... The next thing he said really called into question for me if he was joking or if he seriously has some connections. Because after I said, very jokingly, I guess I am today, he goes, it don't work like that, cuz. Either you are or not. <laughs> Where were you at? The store. Just up. Out the store. Where? The, the gas station in Lenore. What gas station in Lenore? Why? Do you want to go there? <laughs> no, so I don't go there. <laughs> We're actually like in between Lenore and Hudson, like right next to the uh, community college, the one that's attached to Arby's. Oh, I thought, thought maybe you had driven to Columbia and went to the Obama store. No. Wow. I was just in there, and I, noticed, I knew what I was wearing. I was like, before I left, I'm like, I hope nobody makes the obvious joke. And then I go in there, and it happens, and then after that last part, I left, I was like, I'm like, is that guy joking or like is is there some shit going on? Like, and so I got out of there and went home. Wow. Well, okay. He said that mm. makes my quarantine sound not too funny. Yeah, that's. Of course, I've just been going hiking. It's so exciting. I enjoy it, but they probably don't. I mean, I've been sitting right there on the couch, getting time in with nature. I've been working. <laughs> the only person that's going to be on this show, period, even right here, is the only one working. Because this guy's not working, <laughs> unfortunately. But, um, yeah, so today's interview, we're doing an interview, as you can see. That's why we're right here at the TV. None other than... That cat is chewing on his course, and that's going to fall. He's chewing on something else. None other than... An enemy. An yeah. enemy. Traitor. Yeah, we're we. We're, What's up with this? You know, uh, What's up with that? Well, it, it 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 is what it is. So it's uh. They don't think it be like it is. Yeah, I, I couldn't say it. But it do. But yeah, we're going to be interviewing a uh, Chase Fellow from the Kansas, Kansas City Royals, Royals Kansas organization. Royals. So that includes the Lexington Legends. That's right. Who beat us? The enemy. Yeah. The we power sure? of the cheer one, which we got to ask about. Yeah, no more cheer one for Chase. Yeah, I sent him a whole case. See, he's going to have a breakout season then. <laughs> Hope so. Just he's not allowed to drink them when he's in Hickory. Exactly. So. Or when Hickory's in Lexington. I hope you guys appreciate us because we are putting our lives on the line for this. Because <coughs> we're coming out here and we're doing this. We're... <laughs> We're breaking the social distancing orders. We The neighbors might get nosy and call the cops on us because they see too many cars Cause outside. Because we live in Russia. You don't know You don't know Russia. what might happen. Shit's crazy out here. It is. It is. But, um, so, before we start, does anybody want to guess what, today's, what today was supposed to be in baseball? Well, I mean, it still is that. Well, home opener for... 
Oh, Jackie Robinson Day. Yeah. That's right. Jackie so. Robinson Day. Yeah. Have you seen the movie? No, I have not. I want to, though. I, keep, I haven't been able to find it anywhere. You know what I'll I did on uh, what was supposed to be opening day? I uh, watched some of Jeremy's road trip videos just to pretend like I was still going to different parks. <laughs> I actually want Thank you. <laughs> I want to watch baseball. In, so I could, you know, live through it. I should have put like a, one of those VR things on. So it really just... should have. That would have been awesome. Yeah. I, I want an autographed baseball. Okay. You want to know who from? In about 17 grunt style shirts. <laughs> who what, from? The Lexington Legends. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I want a, I want something. What did you win, Jeremy? I want a, a <laughs> baseball game board. I'm not sure exactly what game it is, but I want it. Thanks to Alan for tagging me in the Applegate Instagram photo. Uh, so I got a question. Who's the bigger homer here? Uh, you with Lexington or Gary with Kannapolis? <laughs> <sighs> Gary. Gary. I miss. I'm so upset that we didn't get to go see the unveiling of the new. Uh, Me too. We might stadium. still. It's going on to happen. on the day that it was supposed to happen. Yeah. Well, you can't help that, but I, I feel that baseball will be back. Mm, this thing might take. I think this thing some might go to August. Be back. Yeah. No. Yeah, it won't go to August. Middle of June. They're they're the already window. they're already trying to open the country back up. And I, I mean, saw something where Trump said Dana White of the UFC and, and Mark Vince, Cuban Vince McMahon and Vince, Vince McMahon Vince McMahon who just got 18 million dollars for the president and still put on these overalls <laughs> take your shirt off <laughs> there was a mass exodus today did you see this on Twitter like 20 westlers got fired in the last couple of hours from, from WWE and they probably thanked WWE oh, for some it. Of them the did. best thing that happened in their career some of them did but, but look, some of them you think, you think Epico and Primo Cologne are going to have success on the indies no some of them were happy what does that mean sorry baseball Chase so yeah but um Chase will be calling us in um, calling in in a few minutes and we'll Get everything underway. Yay. Yay indeed, Ethan. Oh. Yay, Yay indeed. Hello. Welcome back. After much deliberation and, uh, you know, <laughs> technical problems, we're here with Chase Below. How you doing, Chase? I'm good. How are y'all? Oh, well, we are doing great. How have you been spending your time alone? Your, your corn pain. Uh, a lot of Netflix... A lot of home working out and a lot of little do-it-yourself projects, you know? Well, besides the working out, I can, I've can i gotten behind all that because I've been cleaning out my basement to try to make a bar down there since none of them are going to be open anytime soon. Also, let's move the cursor so we're not picking your nose the whole time. Okay. There we go. <laughs> well, since you've been watching Netflix, let's go ahead and talk about the big subject. <laughs> you know the one. Have you watched The Tiger King? I have not. Oh, what? What a disappointment. All right, well, oh, interview's wow. over, so y'all have a good day. <laughs> we, we had so many I've, Tiger I've been King watching questions. the, uh, I actually started Designated Survivor. I'm almost done Designated Survivor. Um, and then there's another show on Hulu called Six, and it's about the SEAL Team Six operation. Um, so that's pretty cool. I think we watched that when it came out on Man. History Channel. My stream yeah, was YouTube was bad. Yeah, yeah. So if, if you like that, you should read uh, Mitch, Richard Marchenko's book. Uh, the name of it escapes me right now, but he's the guy that started SEAL Team 6. Oh, really? Yes. and it, I highly recommend it. There's some uh, some pretty wild things that they did in there. Like one, in one part, uh, after he, uh, he gets the team together... And uh -huh. he, they go through their their training or whatever. He takes them to a marine bar, and tells them pretty much, yeah, if they don't get into a fight, they're in trouble. What 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 was that movie that it was actually in a movie? Was it uh oh, it's the the movie about the Coast Guard, uh, with Ashton Kutcher and uh, the Guardian. I don't think I saw Guardian, that yeah, kind of like some it's like Kevin something Costa like that. In it. <laughs> yeah. Kevin uh, Costner's my, my main podcast. Baseball podcast can't go three days without talking about Kevin Costner. Yeah, I think I figured out why why the uh, audio works now. He's he's drinking his cheer wine now. Yeah. 
That Sherwan's <laughs> brought you a lot of uh, <laughs> That Sherwan's your secret weapon. It's your spinach if you were Popeyes. Oh man, I I got like six left. I, I'm so I'm rationing. <laughs> We'll have to see what we can do. It's kind of expensive to send out there, but I'm going to see. I think there's a Cheerwine locator on the website. And just uh -huh. type in your address and see where it is the closest to you. So huh. It might be rare. You might have to go to like some candy store and get it in that little novelty uh, cooler that sometimes candy stores have because that's that the only place so I weird. found it in Texas. Yeah. It's like $6 huh. for a glass bottle, but don't, like don't pay that. Yeah. I'll send it to you. So, that's crazy. <laughs> I can't believe you actually came out to one of our tailgates, you know, being the opposing team and all. Did you tell your teammates about that and, like, hey, I'm going to go to the opposing team's tailgate. How did that conversation I can't go? really hear you. He's talking about the time when, uh, when they were out there tailgating in the parking lot in Hickory and you came out there. His, uh, he asked, did you, did you tell your teammates, you know, hey, I'm going to the opposing team's fans tailgate or did you just kind of sneak out there i, I kind of told a couple of people that were by my locker and i'm like look i'm gonna get some hot dogs and some burgers i mean is that if, if you want to come y'all can come nobody came with me so i'm like it was like whenever you go to lsu alabama tailgate and you go to the alabama side and you just like everybody looks at you but i can't turn down free food which no, side would you, you there. Uh, which side would you be on on that lsu alabama tailgate he lives LSU. In Louisiana. Come on, LSU. They don't know that. Oh, that's right. Jesus. Yeah. He lives in Louisiana. So Every you know. time I try to kayfabe a question, you completely step on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Jeremy, this is your uh, this is your so, thing today. So from from now on, every time you try to kayfabe a question, I'm intentionally gonna step on it just to get that reaction. <laughs> Ask your questions, Jeremy. You got them. Okay, let me tell me. See if I can bring it up here. Uh, we got a few questions from uh, from some people. What was, what was this guy's name that we got these from? Most of them? You'd have to ask me. I think his name's George. He's actually a friend of uh, Josh Advocate's dad. And he's a Royals fan. The only other one that we know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't run into many of those. Yeah, here you know, I mean, you're, you're the only reason I'm wearing this shirt. So, but Traitor. I love it. I love it. He's a traitor. But I'm going to be sending you a Ranger shirt, so... You know. <laughs> yeah. and, and I couldn't find any Royal stuff, so I just put on a blue wristband. So, but it, uh, it's uh, so funny how yeah. how we here in Hickory and the Crawdads, the Royals actually tie in with the Rangers. I mean, you guys actually share the train facility out, you know, in Surprise. So, yeah. and, you know, and Burlington is one of our favorite I've ballparks to go to. And you played there before, you know, and... Yeah. Uh, the coach for the, the Ducks this year, J.J., he was actually drafted by the Royals. So it's it's a lot oh, of... Oh, really? Yeah. So, you know, we we're, we can't get away from Kansas City here in North Carolina. Yeah, that's right. And Kansas City has the second best style of barbecue. Well, not necessarily a bad thing. No, no, no. no not at all. Uh -huh. except, except when you come to town and hit two home runs <laughs> in the playoffs against us. That Yeah, horrible. what was that about? Good for you, but... You know. <laughs> <laughs> and I called it too. So, like before the game, I said he's going to have two homers. He or did. He's going to get the golden sombrero. One of the two. It's so, two homers. You, you weren't were there for the first one. I was because I got both. The, I got both those balls, and I gave one yeah, to him. One to me. Yeah. Yeah. I was so conflicted. Oh, I was cheering was, and cheering for you. Yeah, you're right. You're right. In general. Yeah. There was one game that you weren't there when I hit one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I remember I think, that. That was. Some family stuff we had going on, and we had to we missed the start of the game. What wasn't that like the God, last, God. that was in the regular season, yeah, like the really last easy. week of the season, wasn't it? That was in May. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> See, We're I never know confused. how to react when that happens. I'm always like, "Oh, yay for you!" But come on, man! Like, because <laughs> yeah, that against <laughs> us, there's so on. many non-Rangers that I've come to you know like by going to so many games, and I always want to see them do well, but not against us. Okay, um, twenty minutes. Let's try. That kind of that kind of leads me to my first question. You know, two home runs in a playoff game. That's obviously a a big game. Uh, it's a it's a good game for you. Uh, one of the questions that George wanted to ask was, "What's the biggest game you've played in to date?" Mm. Could be any game. Yeah. yeah, it's the biggest game you've played in. 
The most, ex- I would have to say, the most exciting slash. Would have to be the the All American game at Wrigley, the Under Armour All American game, um, because I was around with some of the best players in the nation. A lot of them are in the big leagues right now. Um, a lot of them are in the forty man, and getting to play on Wrigley Field was kind of as a high school senior. It's just yeah, that's pretty big. Something you dream of so. <laughs> That's a big to be able stage. to do that was pretty cool and breathtaking at the same time. That, that's cool. That's pretty awesome. I, uh, I hope to get to see Wrigley one day. <laughs> well, I got a question, but it's actually George's question, which ties into what you just said. They're because, all from George pretty yeah, much. Yeah, pretty much pretty all nice. his questions are George's. George, shout out to George. George came out with a long list of some great questions. God, shout out to George. Name. And I hope that's yeah, his name. We hope that's his name. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Let's see. It was about your baseball cards. You've got a couple of them. And I know you got one from the game that you were talking about, which is a god awful pitcher. I mean, it's. Yeah, yeah. it is true. Yeah. (laughs) Which is your favorite baseball card of you? And which card do you think, why in the world did they pick that pitcher? I have, I have to see the pictures of them, but there was one I couldn't remember. It was um the one the one for the answer as why would they post that picture was my perfect game national card. Um, I was standing playing catch down the right field line, and I was like waiting for the ball slash walking, and it was just kind of like a almost awkward shot. So I'm like, when I looked at that one, I was like, okay, that's kind of different, but it's um, not a really good angle. Right. Um, and my favorite one would be from the one from this past year. Um, I'm rounding third base, and I just hit a home run, and I'm rounding third base, and me and my manager are like about to do the fist bump like that, and it was mid-action, so I thought that was – that was the best one that I ever had. Do I have that one? Oh. I'll probably have it. My favorite one is the Burlington because it's just, it says Burlington on, you know. Oh, like the old school one? Yeah, the, I think it's Heritage. Uh, that was my second one. Yeah. Nice, yeah. Um, I guess we'll just go down the... Okay, Another George question. Executive producer George. <laughs> yeah, executive producer here. Shout out to George again. Um, what is your most memorable baseball moment? There's a lot. Mm. Say so winning a state championship, um, getting drafted. Um, Having y'all cheer for me, the only visiting opponent in history. Um, I mean, truly, you are the only. Well, you're the only, the only one, one that I got can his, think of. Besides Jameson Fisher, you're the only one that got his own chant. But yes, you're yeah. the only one with yeah. the, their own chant. <laughs> no, but I, I have to say, uh, getting drafted. I mean, that was just one of the highlights of my career. Just all the hard work that I put in, and it paid off and I'm not done yet so kind of the one that I'm looking forward is the major league debut and I think that one will top pretty much everything from a baseball standpoint um, that leads me to another question um, you know obviously you know spring training kind of got you know cut short or, or paused however it goes um, had the have the Royals, you know, have they uh, given you uh, any clue as to where you may be this coming season if we ever have one? No, they they really didn't tell anybody anything. Um, I think they know where we're going to go. They just haven't told us. Because, um, I mean, it was beginning of March when, right when we got sent home. So we were about to start air squads. But, um, no, they didn't. Tell me where I would go. Um, 
a question that we've asked Sam and Josh, and we haven't got to see you actually play at home. What is your walk-up song? I got a bunch. Um, last year, I did a little Rage Against the Machine. Nice. Awesome. Um, nice. Kenny Wayne Shepherd, Blue on Black. Nice. Um, I even did a Latin song one time. <laughs> try to break the little hitting funk. Which, uh, um, which what? A hitting the... funk? What are you talking about? <laughs> what hitting funk? Which Rage Against the Machine song was <laughs> I mean... I had to go there. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. I mean, you know. Well, it, what, it, what are the famous chants from... I don't remember. The, the guy with the megaphone. Um, Chase Follow. He's a vegan. Um, hat tricks. I'm like, well, I gotta... Once he said that, as soon as we got back home, I had to think outside of the box a little bit. Um... <laughs> I'm a big rock guy. I like some uh, Rage Against the Machine, Red Hot Chili Peppers, um, some, uh, what am I thinking of? Slipknot. Who? Slipknot. No, not, it's not like that heavy. <laughs> well, I just um, saw on Facebook that you like them on Facebook, and I'm like, hey, Chase likes them, so. <laughs> that was in high school. Oh, uh, that's true. I mean, that hell, they ain't been good since high school. Uh, hey, Chase, can you, uh, you hear me a little better now that I'm Maybe. closer to the mic? No, nah, I, I also uh, I did have a couple of songs, um, some kind of Cajun French Zotico songs from where I'm from. Uh, it's kind of like a dance music, and so it kind of reminds me of home a little bit, so I'll pull that out every now and then. All right, uh, Chase, can you hear me better? I got a little closer to the mic for you. I can hear you better okay, now. All right, because right, I don't think you were hearing my question or or, or something. Uh, which Rage Against the Machine song was it? Uh, Bulls on Parade. Ah, that's the one. That's the go-to. Bulls on Parade. And uh, while I while I'm closer to the mic, because this ain't gonna last long. Actually, uh, that's <laughs> it. Um, I gotta ask the one question I asked everybody, and that's what's the weirdest thing you've signed? I'm not gonna believe this, but actually. Somebody asked me after a game to take off my wrist tape to sign. Yeah, like that sweaty, I that. sweaty never, flex never tape, thought. and I rolled it up into a ball and just <laughs> kind of. I'm like, that was the weirdest. That was the weirdest thing I ever signed. That's pretty weird. Like, I gotta say, what are you gonna do? Somebody that now. <laughs> yeah. And it wasn't just me he asked. I mean, there were other people beside me, and they had tape on. He was like, can you take your tape off? I'm like, um, okay. You can't get any more game used than that. So, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I have, a, I have a, a UFC card. I don't know if you watch the UFC, but Roy Nelson. I do. It was Roy Nelson and someone else. It's actually their tape from their, from their hands on a card. But I have even no clue where that card's even at. Well, that's a little different than straight mm. off the wrist. <laughs> yeah. But, um, which, that could lead into this question that George wanted to know. Is there a type of person that you try to avoid on autographs? But I have never seen you deny anybody, so I don't even know. No, not really. I mean, if I'm in a rush or something, or I got to go do something in the training room or anything like that, I'll kind of sign one or two, and then I'll get the rest later or kind of if I got a bunch of people waiting I'll just sign a couple but if it's just one or two people I'll sign whatever they have and kind of take my time with them talk to them for a little bit and I usually never avoid kids so I try not to right um just because I remember me being that age and I mean, I know it's not the major leagues, but I'm sure they don't know the difference. Um, Ten more minutes. Yeah. Uh, have you had any more dental work done recently? <laughs> what say, do you say? Have you had any more dental work done recently? Uh, so you got a nice smile going there. I, I got my permanent tooth in, so... <laughs> that one ain't coming out anytime soon, so let me knock on... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, tell us, uh, for, for the people that don't know about that, uh, tell us what happened there. With, with I, the How it got knocked out. I hit in the face with a 93-mile-an-hour fastball. Um, 
and it was kind of cloudy and raining, and um, it's kind of hard to see in Lexington um, behind the pitcher because there's no really batter's eye, and the clouds are like a grayish white, so the ball blended in, Ooh. and I couldn't see it, and it smoked me right on right on the mouth. Oh man! And I had thirty stitches. And three root canals, and one fake tooth later. Oh, so, yeah. What What was uh, What was going through your head like right after it happened? The ball the tooth. <laughs> the ball tried. <laughs> yeah. I I really don't remember. I remember walking down the first base line and throwing my helmet down, but anything before that I don't remember. Wow, that just. Oh. All I all I do know is we were in the training room, and the trainer came up to me with a big bucket of an uh, empty bucket. I was just leaning over, and he looked up at me and said, "Chase, open your mouth." So I opened my mouth. He turns to somebody on the side. He's like, oh "My God, <laughs> like what? Like what? Are my teeth still there? Like what? Talk? What's going on?" He didn't he didn't tell me anything. Uh, he actually said the inside of my mouth looked like raw grind meat. Oh, oh boy. Oh. So. Cringe. Okay, so what do you think about the <laughs> the robotic strike zone? <laughs> Let's change this. Yeah, yeah, get away from, <laughs> get away from the pain. I, I kind of get the point behind it, but at the same time, you're taking out the human element of the game. Thank you. I mean, everyone has said that I agree so much. Yes. I mean, yeah, I mean, the umpires miss some calls here and there, but I mean, nobody's perfect. So you take a strike zone, an automatic strike zone, and you put it in, and it's not going to miss a pitch. I mean, it might be a breaking ball that just catches this much of the strike zone, and it's a strike, technically, mm -hmm. but you can't hit it. So. Nine times out of ten, an umpire is going to call that a ball in a game. But I see what they're trying to do. I think it's, there's a, there's some flaws still behind it. But, I mean, I like talking to the umpire sometimes, too. I mean, that helps the pitcher get some of the extra strikes. And um, can't do that with the automatic strikes. Well, you got five more minutes. I know you got okay. dinner plans and everything. I've got a question. Go for it. Hell, it's a big one. Uh, when y'all first uh, started interacting, I understand that uh, some of these guys here got um, uh, blocked on social media. We were being a little loud. <laughs> what's, the, what's the deal with that, man? <laughs> I was waiting for it. So, he, he had actually commented, he tagged me in his tweet. <laughs> And I forgot what he I forgot what he said, but I was I like, remember. <laughs> what the hell is this guy? Like, he just he commented on my stuff. I'm like, I don't want to see this. So I blocked him, and then I actually got to know him better, and I unblocked him. And yeah, it took you like a year to, un to unblock me. It only took you six months to unblock him. What's the deal with that? Probably still wishing he hadn't unblocked you. Yeah, I'm trying to block you. <laughs> And I, I remember whenever you actually brought, you printed out the piece of paper where it said Chase Valo has blocked you. <laughs> and I signed it. He's got yeah, to sit down right there. <laughs> so, that was, I thought that was, yep, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, uh, you had posted a picture of these free gloves that somebody had sent you. And, um, and uh, you, me, and Alan both commented on it. Would someone teach me how to use these? And yeah, that's, that's what it was. That's when he blocked both of us. <laughs> and the only reason we said that is because this is like my first year of sitting in 108 heckling the me guys. Too. You, something was wrong. I don't know if it was you or the pitcher that day, and you kept coming back to us a lot. <laughs> and I'm just, all I'm saying, I'm not trying to be mean. And so we just looked you up on Instagram, and there you were like this. Twitter, not Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. And I was like, are you asking how to use those? Because that game, it was a bad game. I, like I said, I'm not, I don't know who it was on, you or the pitcher, but it, it, but, and I'm just, 
so happy that you took it with a grain of salt and yeah here we yeah. are you know friends today and you know and you have my support one million percent no matter what you do no matter where you go Mine too, i'm always here for you man and you know that <laughs> i will gladly yeah, get it, 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 it really is crazy how everything worked out and um i actually remember um right after it happened um a couple weeks later, my grandma had passed away, so I went home, and I get a video message from you from Facebook, and you it was whenever you had apologized and stuff like that, so I'm like, okay, like, I respect this guy, like, I, I get it, heckling's a part of the game, but, I mean, he's, he's really a cool dude and a good dude, so, I mean, I'm not gonna big league and not respond or, um... So it's crazy how everything worked out, and right. now look at where we are today. And it was it's it's cool. Yeah, I mean, God you, does everything for a reason. Yep. yep. You told me that we wasn't worse than the Toast Man, and I told you we were going to try to to succeed that one day. And I actually got to meet the Toast Man, and I told him the story, and he wanted me to tell you, you know, back then. Hello, he remembered you too. So you go from that. To no, it's funny because it actually okay. this year at the All Star Game. Um, it was in West Virginia, and we were the South. So the, the North, the uh, Toastman was heckling us. And, of course, my first about, I strike out, I get, you are toast, you are toast. Um, <laughs> and then somebody else struck out after me. So it was an all-star game. Everybody had their phones in the dugout. I mean, it was just super relaxed and environment. And so I grabbed the other guy that punched out, and I was like, dude, next time, so one of their guys strikes out, let's start chanting, you are toast. You are toast. <laughs> it was me and uh, Jordan Wren from uh, Greenville. Jo is it Jordan Wren? Yeah. Uh, so it was him, him and I, and the whole stadium started laughing. I'm like, it's not fun, huh? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, so to go from all that to you being the first non-ranger that we've interviewed, yes, so you're an exclusive, exclusive club. Oh. Yeah. oh. But, but you are the third one, and usually three strikes and you're out, yeah. right? The second catcher. <laughs> yeah, second catcher. Same. I mean, Sam Huff had a pretty good year last year, so yeah, yeah. let's talk just some good juju. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you going right behind yeah. Sam Huff is nothing to, to, to complain We're about. We're not right behind We're Josh. Yeah. I'm talking about just in general. Being second to Sam Huff second at catcher. anything yeah, is still pretty, pretty great. Still pretty good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we know you got to go have supper. Say hello to Taylor for us. And, yes. I sure will. And hopefully we can redo this without the technical difficulties and maybe go a little bit longer next time. Yeah, and, and have of course. A, so just, just let me know. I'm there. All right. And hope you have a great season no matter what the season looks like. Hopefully we have a season. But I, I know. I hope. Stay yeah. safe. I appreciate it, guys. Yeah, man, if you need Thank anything, you. you know we're right here for That's you, man. That's right, man. All of us. More cheer wine, we got you. <laughs> Except when you're playing against Hickory or yeah. any Rangers. You can't have it then. I do like down east, though. That's a good hitting place over there. Yeah, but you're not allowed to drink cheer wine there. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right, guys. You have a good one. Thanks, man. Talk to you later. Yes, sir. Thank you all. Well, that finally happened after yeah. much, after much uh, trouble. So, yeah, before I turn it off, we had a lot of technical difficulties We did to begin with. It, it was like longer, 15 but... minutes of he couldn't hear me on my laptop, so I had to go steal Lucas's laptop. You had to erase the search history real quick. Yeah. yeah. But you know, um, kids are. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, even if you didn't, if you're watching it right now, give us a thumbs up because we really tried on yeah. this one. On and both channels, yes, please. Right. We will, we will definitely do this again with Chase. Hopefully, we, you know, like I said, a little bit longer. Maybe in person if he gets to come to town. Yes, yeah. that would be awesome. Yeah, I think. We'll, yeah, that's what we'll do. You know, if we're in town, if he comes to town, whether it be here or whether it be Kinston. Yeah. So, because that's the only time we'll get to see him if he goes anywhere. Yep. But hopefully, we won't get to see him, and that's a good thing. That's always so, weird like that, but yeah. But, hopefully, we will. Yeah. So, hope you enjoyed it, and. 
Thank you, George, for all the cool questions. Yes, thank you, George. Yes, thank you, George. Also, shouts out to... Uh, I didn't even drink my Bold Rock. Shouts out to Bold Rock. Shouts you out to... Shout here real quick? Yeah. Shouts out to Red, uh, Brent and Pool. Shouts Shout out, out to, to Moose Candle Company. Moose Candles. On Facebook mm -hmm. and Twitter. Twitter. Or not Twitter, but uh, Instagram. That's right. Anything else? Stay safe, people. Yep, stay safe. Don't do like we're doing. Yep.